Hello, guys. <laughs> Today I turned 24, Woo! and just like last year, which was very much requested, I'm gonna show you my current setup. Now I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for a house tour, but I'm not ready for that yet, so I'm just gonna show you the most important part of my house, the battle station. I still use some of the stuff from last year, but I've done some small changes. So first off, my keyboard is a Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition Chroma. Longest name ever, but I absolutely love this keyboard. I've made a very simple review about it that you can find in the video description. I've upgraded my mouse from the 2013 edition to, as you can probably see, the Chroma. Deathadder has been my all-time favorite mouse for a very long time now. My previous favorite was the IntelliMouse, which I still have. I use the Blue Jetty microphone to record my YouTube videos and my Sennheiser PC363D for gaming. It's one of the best headsets I've ever used and I highly recommend it. The mouse pad I use is an arrogant bastard. No, really, that's the name. It's a good mouse pad, it responds very well to the Death Adder, but I'm going to replace it soon with something else and hopefully it comes out good. If you've been following me on Twitter, you might know what I'm talking about. Banana gaming mouse pad. Also, if you're curious about my new apartment, my projects, or just me, I'll be updating it on Instagram along with other things that I love doing. Like eat food. The wallpaper you see is made by Pixar underscore UA, and I use it on both my monitors. By the way, the monitors you see are my BenQs, which I've had for a very long time. I've mounted both of them on this thing, which also has USB ports, so I can also hook my keyboard and mouse to it. Brilliant. I'm still a fan of Windows 7. Yes, you heard that correctly. I think it's, I just think it's easier to use. The navigation is not dependent on tablets or apps or don't worry, I'm gonna move over to Windows 10 soon. But right now, everything just works so smoothly, especially since I work with computers all day and most of the people I help are still on Windows 7. But to compensate for Windows 7 and its layout, I've installed a Steam skin to match my gaming setup. You can find it in the video description. This is my start menu and all the programs I mostly use. Chrome is my favorite browser because of all the extensions and the Google account integration. TeamSpeak is what I use to communicate with everybody, including my closest friends, also known as my tarred teammates. Steam, you already know. I don't normally use Origin, the only games I play there are Battlefield and Star Wars Battlefront, and I rarely use Battle.net, but it was mostly for Overwatch. And no, I don't play World of Warcraft. For editing, it's Vegas Pro 13 for videos, Audacity for my audio, and a really old but still awesome version of Photoshop. Trust me when I say that the Adobe subscription plan makes me want to go backwards. I really love music, so Spotify is there, and I also use SoundCloud over the web. I use TeamViewer for remote connections and FileZilla for my CSGO servers which you can join if you're part of the Steam group, which is almost at 15k. Come on! And I use Becky and HW Monitor for hardware diagnostics. And to show it off again, this is my components. Now let's focus on the game. My launch options for Counter-Strike look like this. I'll put them below as well so you can easily copy them. I use these video settings when I play. I feel like this works best for me and it looks very good if you capture it on Shadowplay, for example. Make sure you disable the three last options, and if you want more FPS, start by lowering your shadow quality. These are my mouse settings, and I currently use 400 DPI, which results to a total of 800 sensitivity index, or SI. I've used this sensitivity for more than a year now. Do I recommend it? If you have enough space for your mouse like I do, then sure. These are my audio settings, and if you want a complete list of settings with my config, you can find it on Banana Gaming's website, which I update each time I make a change, so don't worry about that. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed my setup guide, and I hope it wasn't too boring. Sorry if it was. If you have any questions regarding my setup, I'll try to answer them as best as possible. But for now, I'm just gonna celebrate my birthday and eat pizza and maybe a banana.
or I'll probably just buy one of these at Willis. So good. Anyway, guys, you're awesome. If you managed to stay with me this far, I want to wish you a good day and go bananas.